Hi JVC, this is Susan Stoddard. I am so happy to share with you about prayer as it has been such a huge blessing in my life. I think as some of you know, I was not raised in a Christian home and I became a Christian in college. I had no real idea how to pray. I figured it must be important, but I was really busy with school and dating, so I didn't have time for prayer. So I started on a journey to learn more about prayer and God is always so good. I finally kind of got serious about prayer when we had children because it frightened me that I didn't know how to raise children to be Christians since I had not come from a Christian home. So I thought, well, I better start praying about this. And God was so very patient with me, teaching me slowly and gently. And early on in this journey, there was a very difficult time in our lives with AT's job being very uncertain, having to move that children were really young, and a lot of issues were causing problems and disagreements between AT and me. At one point, I finally decided to quit nagging AT and just start praying. God answered that prayer in an amazing way. And I was shocked because I realized God does answer prayers in. That started me further on a journey to learn more about prayer. I tried many different techniques. Not one was perfect. I did read in a book that you learn to pray by praying. And I think that worked for me. I don't have fancy words. I'm not a spiritual giant. Often my prayers, God shows me the sin in my request, and that makes me actually change my prayer. I don't do hours of praying, sometimes just a minute or two. I have found that I often pray really well when I'm walking because I'm so easily distracted. That helps me focus on praying. I also keep a prayer notebook as it helps me remember my prayer requests and I can look back and see how the Lord has answered prayers. I often struggled in my life with trying to find time to pray and I have to frequently remind myself we always have time for what's important to us and eating is important to me and I rarely miss a meal. So why would I miss prayer if it is such a blessing in my life? When the children were really young, I was so busy, I had a hard time um, finding the time to pray, so I started then what I called my toilet prayers. I don't like cleaning the bathroom, and I found that by praying for each child over a different fixture in the bathroom was a good way for me to pray and be consistent. As I continued on the journey, I started weekly intense couple hours of praying and reading scripture, and I was so blessed. But this was not real frequently. Some days I could only pray a minute or two. Over the years, God has answered prayers in so many ways. That runs the gamut from being dramatic to simple yet profound. I will share a couple stories. And God has always answered my prayers with what is best for me. It's not necessarily how I prayed or one of the result to be, but in the end I knew it was what was best. A dramatic answer to prayer was um, after I became a believer for about 20 years, I had prayed for my parents' salvation. My mom was especially antagonistic to anything about God. She died when I was in my 30s, and I was very distraught, as all I could think of was that my mom was in hell. One night, I literally fell on my face in my closet and cried to God for help. God answered that prayer so instantly and profoundly. I cannot put it into words, but suddenly I was at peace. I had no assurance that she had accepted the Lord at the last minute or anything. I just had peace that my Heavenly Father loved me and I could trust Him. And I continued praying for my dad another 20 years or so until he died eight years ago. And it was the same thing. I do have no assurance that he was saved but I do have this peace that God gave me when my mom died that he loved me and I could trust him. Some of my prayers are very simple prayers, just help. Sometimes I just pray, Lord, help. I can't deal with this situation or this problem or this person. And God answers those prayers too. Now I'm to the point where I often feel empty if I don't take time to pray daily. And I know I can be brutally honest because I look at Jesus' prayer in the Garden of Gethsemane. Now generally, I read scripture and I pray along with my Bible. 
and I can say every time I've gone to the Lord with a specific request and taken extra time to pray, He has given me great peace and comfort. Not necessarily the answer I thought but I wanted, but it was actually the best answer. I'm happy to talk specifics with anyone. I encourage you to pray regularly throughout your day. It can be a 10 second prayer, or if possible, I would encourage you to set aside an extra hour or two in a day and just spend time praying and reading your Bible. You will be incredibly blessed. I am a messy person in a messy world, but I can testify to the amazing joy and peace I have in prayer. Thank you.